Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome to Sanctuary. Sanctuary! Sorry, <laughs> the joke that had to be made. But welcome to Sanctuary. This is a game, as you can see, by Connor Sherlock. Headphones are recommended. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but Connor Sherlock, if that name sounds slightly familiar on my channel, it's because we previously played Condor, which was that retro retro-futuristic kind of uh, Blade Runner style game with all the neon lights and it was kind of like a, a platformer slash walking simulator. There was no no guns or shooting or anything but there were just little checkpoints and, and a little bit of storyline as we walked through it. Uh, I enjoyed that. Uh, Connor Sherlock has come out now with Sanctuary which again is being built as a walking simulator, kind of an atmospheric piece. A game, it's probably not a, like a game, like like your Proteus's, the, the games you should come to expect on old Kurt J. Max channel. And we are going to... What do we want to do? Do we want to leave or do we want to enter? I guess we want to enter. So let's enter the sanctuary, and here we are. I did find it funny in the graphics options. Ooh, when you loaded the game, your graphics options was a little drop down and it said uh, graphics quality. Enough. <laughs> he chose to only allow one graphics option, and it was enough. But all right, here we are. Sanctuary already. Strange situations abound with floating... Floating blocks. Not even block, floating... Spike thing. Some atmospheric birds in the distance. Uh, shift is sprint, otherwise WASD, and you can jump. There appears to be a clearing over here, so I guess I'll just jump on down. Yep. Very stark contrast. It's like, like you're wearing blue blockers. Remember those sunglasses? C in HD vision. Okay. So that's where we came from. And it appears as though there is some sort of sanctuary on the horizon. I'll, f I'll follow the path. I'll take the I'll take the bait. And I'm sure there's little stuff we can find either way, but I'll I'll go according to to what uh, I assume the experience is designed for. I hear music kind of entering my 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 headphones because I'm wearing headphones as was recommended by the video game maker. Sorry, I was just I was investigating this different type of shrubbery. Interesting. We've got like a weird film grain kind of effect going on over our eyes. <laughs> got all these particles in my eyes. Should see an optometrist. Sorry, I'm just taking the occasional hop, skip, and a jump to see if I'm missing anything over the foliage. All right, well, I'm still following the path here. I mean, I guess I should check this place. This churchy castle-y type of spire situation out. Uh, mouse clicks do nothing. Don't have a flashlight. F or L? No, nothing. Alright, so we have to... Will our eyes adjust? Our eyes will adjust to the darkness. We're like a raccoon. Do raccoons have good dark adaptation? I'm assuming they're nocturnal creatures. Science! Okay, let's get dark adapted here. Yep, yep, Oh, That's interesting. Oh, suddenly. Huh. Hip. Hup. Ooh. I'm being surrounded by 
darkness, but also by music. I can't see. Oh, what do we got up here? Oh, is this a doorway? This is a doorway. Hold on. I gotta... Before I walk through any ominous-looking black doorways, let me... Oh! There's, uh, this was from the title screen. I recognize this. Little floating... Ooh. Cubes. Interesting. This would go really well with, like, an Oculus Rift. I'm thinking to really... Not only are you isolating the sound in your head with the headphones, which is, I'm assuming, why he recommends headphones, but you're, you'd also be isolating your your vision in, in the 3D realm of the sanctuary. No, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's like a, the trailer for the game. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so the door's on the other side. There's nothing on this side. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a cloud window. Alright, I don't want to find out if I can fall down there just yet. There's still a little bit of that path I have to explore. This is pretty crazy. These are the... Th these... these... As if I can... If I can take it aside, these are the types of things I want to, like, build in Minecraft. Not really caring so much about functional buildings or storage or... contraptions or realism or anything like that. Just giant, empty halls of... Impressive scale etude. Oop, 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 that's not how we get in. Oh, there's more buildings and stuff out there. Alright, I'm I'm not sure what's gonna happen when we go through this door. I hope it's not like, okay, that's the end of the game. But I'm gonna test it out because we're here. And there's three dots. Go! Oh. You cannot walk through the door. Perhaps... Hmm. Okay. Can't walk through the door. Maybe... Maybe there is, like, actually some sort of... I might be stretching a bit, but there might be some sort of game thing I gotta do to, like, illuminate those three balls. And then I can exit, maybe? I don't know. Like I said, I might be... It's been billed as a walking simulator, so I'm not really expecting any specific gameplay. Uh, I do have that path I could keep following, but there's another path! <laughs> Talk about getting easily distracted. This is like really poof, stark, stark contrast. I'm not really used to in games. Normally they want you to see the details in the textures and the shadows. Oh, okay, do we got, a, we got, I think we got another building over here. Another sanctuary? <laughs> yeah, it's got different music. Ooh, it's a party, party sanctuary. I forgot my glow sticks at home. Oh, it was like a ruins of a sanctuary. The party brought down the house. Oop. Hup. Hip. Ooh. I hear wind. Oh, okay, there's that sanctuary. I'm being overwhelmed with auditory stimulation. Ah. Is that this tree that's playing this music? Oh, it's this little uh, pillar of justice. Ooh. 
Oh, that's cool. That kind of just like fades in as you walk closer. I thought, like, that seems right on cue. See, now this, this sounds... That sounds a lot like the music from Condor. Ooh. I'm sorry. Have I angered you? Ah. Okay, there's like some sort of bridge or something over there. This might be bigger than I anticipated. I have angered the pillar. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. That's very interesting that it suddenly just stops. I kind of like that. I thought it was just like, oh, you get closer, you get further away. Okay, the music is just playing in this general vicinity, but no, no, I've I've done something. And now I'm just hearing the wind. Okay, all right. Interesting. Sorry, I didn't mean to shut down the party. That actually was kind of disturbing. I was like, oh yes, this is all like upbeat, pumped up music, and all of a sudden, silence, and then wind, and isolation with your thoughts. <laughs> no, anything but that. Uh... All right, let's, I guess, head further down this path toward this other sanctuary. <laughs> Everything, everything's a sanctuary. That rock is a sanctuary. That tree is a sanctuary. Oh, okay, we, we're heading towards more music. Oh, yeah, there's some sort of bridge. Oh, when did this happen? Suddenly, the apocalypse. <laughs> the apocalypse happened, and I was uh, I was not informed. Okay, so yeah, there is some sort of. bridge-like structure over here. The the cubes are still floating. Alright, I would like some sound, please. I hope something didn't go wrong. Technically speaking, like I could see finding a bug. This was just released. Where I, like, do something wrong and then all the music is turned off. I guess we'll find out. We cross the bridge. Oh, we're back in the wind sounds. This reminds me a little bit of uh, Cairo, not darker, but there were a lot of just like long bridges and just pillars for no reason. These do not look like structural pillars, pillars that keep the bridge suspended or anything. So we're getting kind of a Ha! Cairo vibe out of it. Oh, what do we got going on here? Some some of the pillars have toppled. The winds, the winds are too strong for the pillars. Watch your head. Whoa, whoa, I said watch your head, man. Watch your head, man. Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought the bridge just ended into the abyss. Oh. Things do not look as happy over here.
All right, if this if this place, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say if this place doesn't start playing music, then maybe something broke. But no, no, we were just left alone with our thoughts there. That was scary. See, now this almost looks like that other place with the spires. Are we like traveling through time? I don't know. I'm I'm looking for a narrative where there may not be one. It's like getting harder to walk. Probably not, but it's just... I'm walking through molasses here. Ooh. Interest. Interest has peaked. Your eyes adjust. I can't see. Oh, that's just a solid wall. I can't climb up there. All right. Yes. Find a way. Whoa! Okay, maybe that's not the way. Oh, can I go on that ledge? And then walk up there? I don't know, it doesn't seem safe. Oh, there's a ledge right here. Alright, never mind. Perhaps, perhaps I should just choose the safer choice. Ooh, what's that down there? I can kind of see it out of my periphery. Oh, hey, up, up, God, this is really tough because I can't judge distance. All right, let's go around this side to see. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Found a way! I'm in! Still can't see, but I'm in! God. All right. Zzz. Huh. Huh. Hmm. I don't think there's anything up there to see, but I can't get up there to see it regardless. Oh, well, no, that's not gonna get me anywhere unless I jump. All right, let's try it. Wait, can't get from that side. Oh, nope, can't get it from this side either. Hmm, I'm wondering if I can go up there and then go bloop over to that. Again, I may be, I may be overstating my uh, capabilities here in this game. Oh, I can. Take that, everybody! I can scale sheer cliffs to the top with me! I'm just jumping over and over again. Mad skills! It's kind of an interesting texture. Whoa, texture! Alright. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to be up here. Oh, I don't think so. I'm seeing clipping... Uh, Oh, 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 oh! Okay, well, we're down here now. No fall damage. Yeah, I was seeing clipping uh, textures, so I'm assuming I was not intended to be up there at all. How dare you! Oh, oh, I'm trying to... Get dark adapted. Okay... Interesting. I wonder if I find the source... Of this music, will it stop too? Will it get angry at me? Appears to be right here. Oh yeah, there's even more stuff. 
Oh, it's another pillar! Will this pillar stop the music? Do I need to find three of these and then the three lights will light up and I can go through the door? <laughs> I'm putting all these things together in my mind that are probably not true. Ah! Hi! How are you? It's very loud! You're very loud, pillar! Very dramatic, cinematic music. Woo! That was abrupt. Oh, that must have. Oh, the sky must have changed when I last talked to the previous pillar. Okay, so now bear with me. I'm actually gonna take a hop, skip, and a jump, literally, back to the first sanctuary to see if doing this. Has changed anything with that doorway. Alright, I made it back to the original sanctuary. This might be the sanctuary, and I'm gonna. This is where the door was, right? Ooh, that's an interesting, spooky effect. But, uh. The sky is still quite yellow, and it makes things very difficult to see. Oh, yes! Wow! Okay! This is no walking simulator. This is a video game, my friends. There are objectives. So, we found two pillars, we turned off their music, we stopped their parties, so now we have to find a third pillar of, of uh, audio-ness. I, I don't know where it could be. Uh, it's possible I could just follow the original trail that we started with. And maybe it'll be at the end of th that trail, maybe? If I can find it. It pretty much, yeah, it pretty much dropped me off at the entrance to this place, did it not? Yeah, okay, here it is. And if we continue going this way, let's see if we... We hear some music in the, in the horizon. Ha, huh, interesting, okay. Well, that's neat. I mean, this... I mean, I got, well, yeah, I mean... Game, walking simulator. Uh, I mean, Proteus even had a beginning, a middle, and an end, and, and then like an active thing you had to do as the player to progress time, you know, walk into that little fairy circle thing and cause the fast forward of time, which would then progress you through the seasons, and then finally, when you got to winter, you would, you would ascend into the clouds, very confusingly, and that would be the end, quote-unquote, of the game. So it's a fine, a fine lined, fine lined, fine line. Uh, as to what somebody would consider a game or not. It's a, it's a hotly contested issue uh, for those who uh, have nothing other uh, than that to discuss, perhaps. But uh, I enjoy these things. That's cool. That's a neat effect. Dramatic lighting. Alright, this may not lead us to anything. Although it would be pretty pointless for it to be here. Aha! I hear you in the distance. I was correct. <laughs> All right, what do we got? I don't see any buildings. I see trees. I see a cube. All right, still. Oh, this is why he wants you to wear headphones, too, is to get the, the positioning of the audio right. Alright, still heading in the right direction here. Oh, there's more pillars here. Oh, is that the bridge? Oh, okay, so you could theoretically... I'm, I'm a nut. I don't know if there's a specific way... They intend for you to complete this. It might just be a loop. But yeah, if I had turned right at the bridge instead of left back to the sanctuary, I would have come across this. Or, perhaps, if I had been uh, following the path all along, I would have found this one first.
Oh, here it is. Hello. Hi. That was quick and unexpected. Here we go. Dancing. Woo. Loud noises. All right, let's make it angry. <laughs> I love how it just goes zoop. Uh, okay. So now, the, now the sky is purple. What is the saying? Red sky at night. Sailors. Uh, are, take fright or delight. Purple sky in morning. Uh, better, better. Uh, stock up on your grape juice. That, that's the way it goes. Am I right? All right. So I guess it seemed like there were, was that. It seems like there's more stuff out there. Don't you see that spire over there? It might just be more ruins. Which I think so. But all right, let's let's head back to the uh, the sanctuary. And, uh, meet Quasimoto. No, and, uh, see what that, if that door is open. Oh, there's, is that the, oh, we might just be able to go straight through here to see the, the uh, you can see the spire in the distance. Oh, yeah, this path might just lead all the way around. I'm going to take a shortcut, if you don't mind. Ooh, there's a little mountain here. Well, mountain is a relative turn. A little hill, a little, a small mound. A butte, if you will. A butte. B u t t e. Hmm. Not too shabby. We can get a good lay of the land out here. Ooh, that doesn't seem natural. All right, I'm excited. Tell him what's behind door number one. Tom, Susan, whoever my assistant today is. Okay. Who's uh, shivering in anticipation? That's what we're gonna find. Up the stairs. Do we got three reds? Oh! It's another dimension! Ooh, that is kind of creep me out, man. Okay. Hi. You're a spinny giant cube, aren't you? I need to touch it. I touched it.